Thanks, Sammy. We start with cricket and the sports world governing body has confirmed it did investigate match-fixing claims surrounding the recent test series between Sri Lanka and Pakistan. But the ICC's anti-corruption unit has said it is happy nothing untoward took place. For England, the Oval evokes fond memories. Equally, this ground could provide incentive for Australia as a fitting backdrop to avenge their Ashes defeat in 2005. Carrie Brown, Al Jazeera, London. The party continues. President Lula has just been holding a press conference so overcome with emotion he had to stop talking and wipe away the tears. This has been a popular victory. Interesting reaction from the White House that we're getting. One White House spokesman sour grapes somewhat. He said even Obama's presence couldn't make up for, and I quote, the politics in that room. Mr. Dennis, can McLaren Mr. clear Dennis. their name today? We don't fear the truth at all. Do you think Ferrari should be brought to account? Obviously, there was a leak from Ferrari. They were involved. Uh, the only thing we're interested in is the truth. I know you've been with both teams, Carrie. Who have you been talking to? Well, a very interesting chat with Alessandro Del Piero, who said, our team have only got here by luck. Our team need to pull ourselves together and really start rediscovering the form that saw us win the World Cup. <laughs> The beauty of this sport is that I've been on an airboard for just half a day and I can almost keep up with the experts. That's why this sport is growing so quickly. Expect to see one on a slope near you soon. Carrie Brown, Al Jazeera, Davos in Switzerland. The country can now proudly boast that it yeah. is the home of the World 2020 Champions. Carrie Brown, Al Jazeera, London. And the message emanating from that iconic red bus is that all are welcome aboard. Next stop, London 2012.